how to know if you've got good friends in your circle or not, right? And um, it's a pretty straightforward topic, but I thought I'd uh, make a video on this because we've got a, a society of declining men right now. And I know for a fact that majority of your social circles or the people you know in your life, they might be good people, but they are living a very restricted life. They're living through instant gratification. They let their addictions take over their life. And look, at the end of the day, you must be aware or be able to spot whether these particular friends have your best interests at heart or not, right? Because let me explain what a good friend is. A good friend will basically be there for you when you're at your worst. A good friend will challenge you, okay? A good friend will consistently want to see you doing better. They will call you out on your bullshit, okay? They will not allow you to self-sabotage. If you really need to talk and you're feeling like absolute shit, they will be there to hear, hear you, bro, because a good friend is almost the way I can, best way I can describe it is a brother from another mother, meaning it's like a long lost universal connection where the universe has aligned you with these sort of you know, individuals. And when you guys meet and cross paths, it's almost surreal. Like it's, it's so, how can I say, bro, the way you connect and the way you, you know, the things you have in common and your beliefs and your perceptions in life. It's like they're another version of you, bro, in another way, right? And you meet these guys when you start to, you know, you meet these people when you start to care about your life, when you want to do well, when you start self-improving, right? So at the moment, you most likely have a bad friendship circle around you, right? And when I say a bad friendship circle, I don't mean they're horrible, nasty people. They might be well-hearted people, right? That, don't get me wrong, I'm not questioning that. But what I'm trying to say is here, they are not willing to self-improve, right? They are just purely happy or maybe not even happy, I don't know, but they are actually living under their, you know, they're happy to be defined by their addictions, right? So whether it's, you know, video games, whether it's drugs, alcohol, um, whether it's junk food, right? You know, what the friends that just want to cons consistently like party on the weekends. And I find this, right? The moment you keep hanging around people that have instant gratification, that are not willing to put in the work, okay? And then you wake up and realize, because I know by you watching this video, you've woken up and realized, okay, cool. Well, something just doesn't feel right, you know? And hopefully by the end of this video, you can then make your mind up and, and just realize, you know, from my experience, from my knowledge, whether these people are worth keeping in your life or not, right? So, you can't expect these so-called friends of yours to understand and want to self-improve, right? Because the moment you start wanting to do well, the moment you start wanting to become the best version of yourselves, you're going to threaten them. You're going to, you're going to scare them. They're going to, they're going to feel like, oh no, I don't have my video game buddy or I don't have my junk food buddy. When you start eating clean and you start doing the gym, right? There's a lot of that, right? That, a lot of that will happen. You'll get tested. And what that is if you're wondering why they are that way it's because they're not willing to put in the work to better themselves okay they might be scared they might be you know they might have problems they haven't faced or, or dealt with whatever it might be right but at the end of the day they're not willing to dedicate time into improving their life get rid of those addictions and better themselves right but you've had enough you you're done with it so the moment you sort of leave that circle and focus on you that's when you're, you'll notice your your friend's true colors come out, bro. They will start putting you down. They will start mocking what you're doing. Like, oh, why are you eating clean, man? Just have a bit of junk food. Stop being, like, stop being so 
perfect or they'll you know they'll they'll use words to manipulate you bro because they are threatened by your actions that you're trying to uh, you know go by the path that you're trying to fulfill they are threatened bro they are very very threatened and it's something that you must not emotionally care about too much because at the end of the day we can't force people to self-improve we can't force people to change this is something that purely wants to cut that has to come from the heart within and this is something where you set yourself you know you're pretty much at a point where you're you're not happy in life you know what you're doing's not serving you you're operating from shame and guilt by going through these, these consistent addictions all the time and you've had enough bro right because we're not robots we're humans we got feelings we we know when things are not right there are certain people who just want to be stuck like that forever and there's certain people that want to break free from that and actually want to have a life filled with abundance and worth living right so don't expect your friendship circle to understand you bro you know it's going to come with the more you try to prove yourself the more you try to say oh i'm doing this and i'm doing this and i'm doing this right they're going to start putting you down they're going to doubt you they're going to put bad energy onto you and you're going to feel sad because you're thinking why can't this person be happy for me i'm purely trying to do well right but as i said at the end of the day you're a threat to them okay and this is why i say it's very very hard to have a friendship with people with addictions because when people have addictions they become selfish and they want other people they don't intentionally want to be this way but they will try and they want to manipulate someone to have the same life as them because they fear they they've got the fear of being lonely right you've got to think of it like this they're scared they're going to be alone with their addiction so why not have you know someone next to you and you both have the addictions together that's what they ideally want they don't necessarily mean it from a bad point of view which you must understand but they don't want to be alone with the addiction they don't want to do what's involved to self improve so they'd rather just be selfish and bring you down with them bro i'm just telling you how it is right it might sound harsh whatever you want to however you want to take it you take it but i'm just telling you exactly how it is right when you start opening your mind and thinking you know what this person actually doesn't have my best interest at heart when i'm trying to do well You don't need to hate on them, bro. As I said, this is not something that they're purposely like they are doing it, but they're not intentionally trying to like be a bad person. It's just they haven't done the necessary groundwork to improve their life and as a result, they bring everyone around them down as well, bro. And and it just becomes a spiral of mess. So my advice to you, if you've got these sort of friends in your life and you'll know, bro, like when you have these sort of friends, they don't want to see you do well in any area, bro, right? Like any area. Um, they're not willing to tr- change their life, you know. You do have the odd like best friend who's like, you know what, let's do this together, blah blah blah. But that's very rare, bro. Other than that, you're going to find that when you're trying to self improve, you're trying to delay gratification. You're going to lose some friends on the way, but that's okay because people's true colors will come out. And at the end of the day, you don't need to worry about them or get too emotionally invested into into how. how they're going to react and what they're going to say and worry about what they're going to think and blah 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 right you just focus on your path achieving your goals as a man okay self improving okay not just in your job i mean you know your health you know your your physical capabilities right as a man you know your your body things you have control over right like as men things that we're hardwired and designed to to do in life right and 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 achieve so don't expect people to understand bro is what i'm saying right at the end of the day don't expect people to understand you just do you and if you're wondering you know how do i exit this friendship circle look you just say look man i'm i'm done with this life i'm going to be self improving i wish you well bro but i'm going to be doing my own thing for a while and Yeah, that's it. You just keep it like that, bro. The moment you start emotionally investing yourself, you know, thinking am I going to I don't want to like, you know, upset this person or that's the moment you start taking away your self-power and then your journey of self-improvement is not able to progress because you're 
sort of 50-50 in. You're trying to self-improve, but you're worried about what other people think and say, right? At the end of the day, who cares, bro? No one is gonna save you. These friends are not gonna wake up one day and save you when you're in a, a bad rut in life as years pass on and you're in bad mental health, right? You've got bad mental health, you're in a bad position in life. They're gonna be gone, bro, or they're gonna be in the same position. So at the end of the day, don't worry about leaving your so-called friendship circle behind. Focus on you, bro. The best gift you can give yourself is becoming the best version of yourself, bro, and self-improving, right? In different areas of your life. And if you're thinking, you know what, you know, will I meet, you know, friends along the way, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you this, bro. The moment you start self-improving and you focus on yourself and you go into some sort of monk mode and you, you know, whatever you want to call it, monk mode, isolation, you dedicate time to, you know, basically leaving the old person in the past and creating a new person, a new version of you, like a 2.0 version, then what's going to happen is your, the universe is going to surround you with people with the same energy as you, right? So you will bump into people. You will meet brothers from another mother, right? Like those people where you're, you're like, wow, where has this person been all my life? This person actually gets me. This actually, this person actually wants what's best for me. Like, wow, you know? When you meet those sort of people, bro, in life, it just, it's, it's beautiful. And the only way you're gonna meet those sort of people in life is when you evolve and become the best version of yourself, bro. Because if you're operating from a low frequency with your bad friends, you're only gonna attract that low frequency vibration around you, right? The moment you start operating from a high frequency, you're positive, you know, you're, you've elevated yourself to becoming a better version and you're consistently putting in daily efforts to reach that, you know, that future 2.0 version of yourself, then you're operating from a high frequency. When you operate from a high frequency, you start attracting higher frequency individuals, right? Men, women, whatever it might be. You just start bumping into them, bro. Trust me, it's happened in my life. It's happened to other people and it, can, it will happen to you, bro. You just need to change your mindset and your belief and go, you know what, I've got this, I'm gonna do what's required and I trust in the universe that as long as I'm operating from a good frequency, I will meet like-minded individuals, bro. And that's what it is. Because you get a lot of people saying, you know, I wanna, you know, how do I meet like good social circles and, and how do I do this? But the question you need to ask yourself is, have you committed time into self-improving yourself to the best version of yourself that you could be, bro? Have you done that? Because if you're solely just looking for friendship circles and you're not developing yourself or social circles, then you've got some work you need to do, bro. And that's just the harsh truth. You, you know, take it however you want it. But I can tell when I look at a man, bro, like, you know, if they say, look, bro, I need, I want to be part of a social circle. You know, I want to, I want to do this. And I look at their physique, bro, and I look at them and they're like someone that's like, just looks like an ordinary person, like everyone else. And they want to improve their social circles. Do you really think that you're going to be able to meet strong, like-minded men who challenge you if you're just not willing to put in the work yourself? No, bro, it doesn't work like that. You have to put yourself in isolation, transform your physique, get really ripped, get yourself good, bro. Get yourself looking like a, you know, masculine man. Fix your mindset, fix your belief systems, you know, change all that, be strong. Then you will meet like-minded individual, bro, because like-minded individuals, sorry, I should say, because when you see someone that's self-disciplined, when you see someone that's on his grind, on his purpose, not worrying about too much other crap and that's just sort of tunnel vision, you can read that energy through other people. Like I can see people on the street when I'm walking, if I come across someone that's, you know, a rare individual, right? I can connect with that person, bro. It's not hard. So you just need to Focus on you, bro. Not worry too much about all these social circles, all these, you know, unless you've already transformed yourself, you've got yourself ripped, your belief system's good, you know, you've got good confidence, but you're literally like having trouble meeting people. Cool. Okay. That's when you've got, you know, watch my video on social circles for men, right? I've, I've made a video there. Look into it that way. But if you're someone that hasn't self-improved and you're looking to make external friends, well then, you, my friend, are not gonna make the right friends in life. You're not gonna make the friends that you 
truly deserve because you haven't constructed yourself into the man you need to be. So you're just going to have another version of you basically, right? And if you want to be contempt and, and just live complacent and have just an ordinary existence, then this video is not for you, bro. This video is for those that want to succeed, that want to do well, that want to unlock their full potential, that are sick of living a life filled with shitty friends, instant gratification, that want to become the best version of themselves. This is the video for you guys, right? So at the end of the day, we're all warriors deep down, right? We've all got it within us, but it's all about are you willing to put in the work necessary, right? And as you do, just remember this, God, the universe, high power, whatever you want to call it, will reward you with mysterious gifts in this life brand on your journey. So just, just trust in the Lord, trust in the universe, and good things will happen once you start doing good things, bro, and being the best version of yourself, right? So look, hope this video helped. Hope it's shed some light on, you know, good friends versus bad friends and and just purely not to worry too much about it as a young man as a man you know will i meet this person will will this happen in my life like just don't worry about it you do you you do the right things you elevate your frequency you operate from a high energy and you will meet like-minded individuals bro it's just it, there's just no way that's going to go wrong trust me when i say this so look i'm going to end the video here if you know like a friend who's, you know, a bit down and out, who, you know, surrounded with bad friends and they're not really, you know, wanting to, they're, they're finding it hard to, you know, escape that friendship circle. They don't know whether they're good friends, bad friends. You know, they think they might have their best interests at heart, but they're worried about what they think. Send them this video, bro. This is just a real raw, authentic video where you can just literally like change someone's life. Share this video and if you're new to my channel and you like you know my content in any way if you resonate with me subscribe to my channel because it really helps me grow my channel it's a very new channel right but i just speak pure authentic truths and i just share my own life experiences bro with you so thank you for your time have a beautiful day and i'll see you in the next video peace